So guys, I just want to tell you why we were uh, so deep in thinking to a specific matrix for anteriors. I mean, since I graduated and I was working with composites, what was on the market, it was that kind of uh, plastic strips that uh, uh, was uh, allowed to use uh, to put into the between the teeth and then to pull to the tooth to restore in that way. The trouble was that was impossible to see because of transparency of the matrix where the material was going and also, I mean, the uh, wall of the tooth became totally flat in that way, so not possible to correct in any of the situation uh, properly. So after that, uh, I mean, of course, we tried at least to see how to work. And the idea was to, uh, to use a metal matrix that was uh, still uh, flat to insert in between the teeth and to have the possibility at least to seal cervically thanks to the wedges or to pull with your hands in order to make your restoration in that way properly. And still it was the trouble that it was impossible to create any convexity of the restoration. So after that, we went in adapting some posterior matrix in anterior. So the idea was to use some kind of matrix like that, that we use in posterior in that way, and to put vertically in anterior. I mean, to adapt that kind of shape which was convex to give the convexity of the restoration and to do so in that way. The idea was to put into the uh, right place, the correct place, to pull or push by the fingers in that way to create uh, that uh, shape of the interproximal area. But it was impossible to control the cervical area of that. And also it was impossible to use in one shot many times uh, on the two sides uh, when we wanted to work uh, uh, precisely in uh, mesial and distal. Because, I mean, if I go to place, for instance, uh, two of that, uh, as you see, I lose a lot uh, of uh, my vision. I can't see very well how to do so. And more than that, uh, I cannot uh, uh, restore the cervical area. So at the moment that we thought to a matrix to use for all the surface became the, the name to think to a kind of uh, unica matrix. And the unica matrix really uh, was the right evolution to do so properly as we wanted. The idea was to have the possibility to insert our matrix in that way. And as you see, I mean, you have these two wings that give you the chance to pull the matrix and in that way to readapt around the contour of the teeth and to embrace totally the tooth itself. As you can see, in that way, pulling or pushing or blocking the matrix with some composites, flowable, it is possible really to have all the contour of the tooth itself. Is it that the right way to insert the, the, the matrix? Yes, it is, because in that way you have the possibility to pull with your finger from your back and having the possibility to, sell, to seal cervic cervically. Of course, in some of the situations when we have some different forms of the teeth, we have the possibility instead to rotate the matrix in that way and to have the possibility again to use the matrix on the other way around and in that way to embrace better the cervical area. So there is not one way to use so. Of course, uh, the correct way it is to pull for the lingual, but sometimes uh, it's very useful to do like that. Which is my suggestion? Always, always uh, to insert the matrix through this kind of part, because in that way, as you see, I don't modify the matrix in the shape, so the, the shape of it remain very, very regular and have the possibility to be used properly as I want and to be fixed as I wish. Another point, it is if I have two teeth to in anterior to restore, like two incisors, I place the two of them and I make the two, two teeth pair in shape. So 
uh, as you see, this matrix is ideal for the anterior and for having the opportunity also to embrace the cervical area. But if we want just to work interproximally, as I told you, we were adapting some matrix like that. And that matrix has the limit that I couldn't insert properly inside the ligament because I was breaking the ligament if I was pushing it into that strongly as I wished. So that's why today and for future, we have the possibility to use some specific metric for anterior. Which are the differences? Here you can see exactly. We have the possibility to go around the cervical area and place it correctly without arming the ligament. So here you can see that thanks to that sectorial matrix, I can go in, I can push in, and the matrix is quite disappearing in that deeply, helping me just to do what I want, to restore the tooth where I want. So this is exactly the application that I can do that. And of course, if I wanted to apply medially, I can do with the second one in that way. So as you can see, different than the example that I showed you before, thanks to this matrix, we have the possibility to restore medial and distal, having the possibility to see all around, we don't need to touch the cervical area because, for example, here we are restoring two class three and we have the shape of the two precisely done. So to recap, when you want just to restore the interproximal areas, this is the ideal matrix giving you all the vision around to do so properly. When instead you want to embrace the tooth totally, the Unica matrix, it is the perfect one to do so, placing your matrix thanks to the shape of that in that way and pulling it. So two different kinds of matrix dedicated in anterior in exclusivity by Polydentia thanks to the Stale Italiano project.